There we go. Now, as always, you guys can help me decide on Wednesday what demo I'm going to be playing, what indie game demo we're going to be playing. So, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Monday, what I try to do is come up with a list, a few to choose from, and then you guys can help me decide. But as for what games I'm going to be playing going forward, uh oh, where's my, oh, right, right, right. I'm like, why isn't my, uh, <laughs> why isn't my analog stick working? I'm like, I forget what game I'm playing. Oh. Been a while. I think I saw uh, Lord Beerus playing this on, or was it, I think he was playing Mega Man X2? I can't remember. So this game was still close, close to my memory. I think I played Mega Man X2. I don't know if I actually beat it. I never played any of the Mega Man games before this one. So I never played any for S, uh, for NES, and I think there was another one for SNES before the X series, right? It was Mega Man 7, I want to say? trying to dash with the right bumper, forgetting that I don't have that yet. Next time I'm talking with a bunch of gamers, I want to get into the topic of unbeatable boss fights. Because, um, spoilers, there is one at the end of this level. But I don't know how I feel about them. Because I understand the purpose of, in driving the story forward and establishing that, you know, your character needs to grow. You, you need to level up as it is and get better. Because right now you're not strong enough. So I get that. And it also helps to establish the big bad and other characters' power levels as well. Like, it, it establishes Zero as pretty damn powerful. So later on in the game, when he's uh, when he's defeated, and you have to take over, then it establishes just the stakes at that point, like what you're dealing with power level wise and how far you've come. You worthless piece of scrap metal. 
Did you think you could defeat me? And he runs from the good guy. Think of all that we established here. Story-wise. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Zero, so cool. Now there's an order to beat these. I know that. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what it is. The only thing I know for sure is that ice or chill penguins first. Shotgun ice. Yeah, and this is where we get the dash ability. But I love, I mean, uh, I love the, the simple storytelling in the game there. We didn't need anybody to explain to, to how weak X is compared to... I can't remember what the hell the name of that bad dude is. Because I know you fight him later on. I know I'm going to get this music stuck in my head. One of these songs. Oops. Ah. I think this is the first one? Yeah. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. Hey, Scotty, how's it going, man? I was just playing some Mega Man X. I just finished uh, the third ending for Biomore. But now it seems you were destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you'll be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. All right. Yeah, this is Mega Man uh, X. You ever played this before? 
We get flashy white boots with, <laughs> with gold trim. <laughs> Controls. These are wrong. Oh. It's on my bucket list. There's so many. How you find? I, I've played this game multiple times. I love this game. Um, I wanted to. Uh, I was inspired by Lord Beerus. He, I think he was playing Mega Man X2. Um, and I've never played the game before, so I wanted to... Well, I think I've played X2. I, I don't think I've beaten it before, but there's series all, all the way up to like X3 and X4. And I thought, you know what? I'd like to give those a shot. But honestly, I'm just playing this because uh, 13 minutes in to my stream, I did what I set out to do. I thought I was going to have more of a hard time with the final, final boss, but he ended up being easy. Can I get up there? Yeah, I can. Okay. I can't remember. I think there's a reason I'm supposed to be up here, but I can't, I can't break into these yet. No, I need the upgraded, uh, X blaster. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, shit. Where's the thing? Oh, that, that green mech suit. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. This thing's fun. You just skate around and punch things. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's the end of that. Weird looking thing that throws snowballs. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I thought I could dodge it. What have you been playing lately, Sky? Actually, you know what's interesting? You're a FIFA guy, right? Like you played, uh, you played FIFA, don't you? I wanted to ask you something. Is there any non-EA alternatives to? Um, like EA game, like EA games, like uh, FIFA or oh jeez, I don't remember what this guy does. Oh damn! This part I remember. I didn't even notice the typo, honestly. <laughs> um, no, but I was curious if there's... Because I know for for football, and when I say football, I'm talking like um, American-style football. There is one game that I found that's an alternative to, like, Madden, for example. Um, oh, this game is fun, by the way. But it's called Axis Football, which it's fine. It's like It feels like an older version of Madden. 
the, the version that I played had like a ton of interceptions. You couldn't throw a pass without getting an interception. But I was wondering if there was anything like that that's comparable to FIFA out there. Even like an indie type game. I'm trying to think of one and I can't. This guy? I can't remember. And the reason I was thinking about that, though, Scotty, was um, I'm sure you've probably heard that EA wants to put more ads in games. And I'm thinking, like, there's already a ton of ads in EA Sports games. Right? So... And they're going to keep doing that because they more or less have a captive audience, right? Oh, I didn't see this dude. Oh, you little jerk. Yeah, so if there was something, an alternative to like an EA, um, like a Madden game or a FIFA game, not necessarily, like, you're obviously not going to get the licenses for, for the rosters and stuff like that. The actual players and the teams. But even just gameplay-wise, if you could, if you had an alternative that you could play uh, online, the same way that you could play with FIFA, and it wasn't EA, so it wasn't littered with ads everywhere, would you play it? Would you consider it, at least? I think the last EA Sports game I played was was a Madden game, and then before that it was a it was um, an NHL game. It was fine. I mean, honestly, when you're with hockey, especially, they don't really do too much to change the actual gameplay. It's usually just a roster update. Oh, I gotta shoot this guy in the head. I forgot. Man, this guy takes a beating. Oh, shit. Read your message. <laughs> oh. EA will put ads where they can. <laughs> EA would put ads on the inside of your eyelids if they could. As you said, it's something they can get away with. Yeah, I think it would. You would. Yeah. As long as the game plays there. FIFA's competition was pro evolution soccer. I think I remember hearing about that. Pro Evo didn't have license rights, but much better gameplay. Fortunately, Pro Evo fell off though because the gameplay got worse over the years. That's a shame. But from an NFL perspective, I believe it was a game called Legend Bowl. Legend Bowl? Never heard of it. I'm so curious. One sec. Dun, dun, dun. Is it 
throwback to the classic 8-bit and 16-bit football games of the past? No kidding. That's awesome. Oh, wow. This is like Madden 93. Holy crap. Yo, I'm going to check this out. This looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't, honestly, don't give a crap that, uh, that they don't have the actual licenses. That doesn't bother me one bit. Because ultimately, if you're, you're playing with your friends, then it's the gameplay that, that's fun, right? It's the gameplay that's important. As long as it's balanced, you can't exploit it too much. Yeah. Check out, um, Axis Football. Axis Football 2024. It's, it's more like a, it's a more modern version of what, like, uh, Madden is like. But it's not, I don't know, it's got issues, it's not perfect. Yeah. Yeah, like, as, I mean, sometimes, I mean, the game is important, sure. But as long as the game allows you to just, it functions as a, a, a vehicle for you to hang out with your friends and share in an activity. It's just like playing cards used to be. Right? Do, do people even play cards anymore? We'll reduce the damage to your bot to your systems by 50%. Oh, a body upgrade, yeah. Let's get in. We've got some nice shoulder pads now. Look at that. <laughs> There's nothing else up here, is there? No. Twenty-one blackjack and poker. <laughs> uh, when I play games, I don't like to lose money. I I'm, I love playing cards. Um, but the games I usually play, like I'll play. Um, it, there's a, a game that a friend of mine taught me in high school that I've always loved. And I've just never had an easy time finding it. I think it was called Banaco. I don't know, some Middle Eastern card game. But it's a lot of fun. But, uh, and, and when I was in post-secondary, I learned another game called, and this one's a lot more popular. It actually uses its own... Um... It uses its own deck. It's of special Italian playing cards, but it's called uh, Brisk or Briscola or whatever. You can also use those cards to play another game called Scopa, but I've never played that. But Brisk is, uh, is a hell of a lot of fun if you were playing it with the right people. If you've, Have you ever played Euchre before? And Euchre is played with like a regular deck of cards, but... Depending on how many people that you're playing with, you only use the nine up. So you use nine, ten, jack, queen, king, and ace. It's it's mostly something that honestly, like I don't think anybody plays it anymore. Um, it, it seems to be falling out, but it was a game basically where you follow suit. You ha you select a trump, uh, a trump suit. So let's say you've got you got your diamonds, your hearts, your clubs, your spades. So each player gets five cards, and you're paired. With, if you're playing with four people, you're playing with partners, right? The partner sits across from you. Um, and you, each player is dealt five cards. And then the person to the left of the dealer um, begins the trump selection process. So after the f so the deck is totaled 24 cards. So after 20 are dealt, five to each person. There's four that are left over. The top card gets flipped over, or flipped, I'm uh, sorry, flipped to reveal what it is. So that's the first option for selecting the suit. Oh, I see you there, you little bastard. Here you go. Um, so let's say it's a diamond, and let's say the person to the left of the dealer has a handful of diamonds, so they're definitely going to win this round. Then they would tell the dealer to pick it up, and, you know, everybody follows suit, so... If somebody plays a, a, a spade, and I have a spade in my hand, I have to play a spade. 
If I don't, I can play an offsuit or I can play a trump card to, to take it. And the smallest trump card is, is, so like the nine in any suit is the weakest card. But a nine of say hearts or trump, hearts are the trump suit, a nine of hearts will be an ace of any other suit. Anyway, the the whole point is to take the, the majority of tricks. So you have five cards, you play five uh, rounds. And if you have the majority of them, then you win. But the idea is that you have to follow suit. Um, now, when you play Brisk, you don't. And another thing that if you ever go to like a Euchre tournament, and there's usually a lot of people that are very stick, uh, very much sticklers for playing properly. If you um, if you talk too much, if you engage in table talk, they get mad. They get real, real mad. If you've ever been to a Euchre tournament before, whew, they get downright pissy about that. But with Brisk, Brisk is is completely different. Brisk is uh, you can you can completely bullshit people. You are uh, you are allowed to talk. Table talk is not a problem in that game. However, that also means that your opponents can talk to each other. I can discuss strategy right in front of you. You can tell your partner what cards you have, sort of hinting, but not really revealing anything. So there's a bit more bullshit in the game <laughs> between, between the, the two teams. And it's a lot of fun because of that. I've never played a card game with more trash talking in the world. Um, it's, it's... Yeah. People can. I mean, not everybody does. Some people are, are pretty chill about it, but but it's there is there is a rule with euchre. Like, don't you're not supposed to table talk. Oh, bastard! Where are you going? this guy. There's a sequence that you have to beat these guys in. game going on Fox's weekly streams. You know what's funny? I actually had an idea of doing something like that a while ago. Um, just because I love the idea of talking to somebody while we're, you know, playing a, a game together. Like a card game, for example. Um, and I was thinking, I'd, I'd actually like to interview people and just do something with, like, conversation and cards. I don't know if that's a feasible idea. Oh shit! Oh shit! I didn't. I forgot there's spikes on the top. Oh damn it! Yeah, I can't. Uh. Yeah, we could even do uh, a, an alternate day. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. Honestly, if I have a if I have a reason to play cards with people, absolutely I will.
Where are you? We can invite uh, Mikey Barr on the show. <laughs> so he can steal more of our ideas. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm in very much the same position I was last time. Right in the face. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be around on Saturday. Oh, I forgot to mention anybody else that's listening. Scotty's also usually on the Casual Consumers podcast as well. And, uh, oh, yeah. Hang on a second. While I for before I forget, I should also throw out a link to your channel as well. Um, I made a note. I haven't had a chance to watch your latest videos. One second. It's safe to say that I'll Ah, that's me. I don't want to hear me. Hang on one second. Where are we at? G-Men, there we go. Yes, go check out the G-Men network. And my phone just fell out of my pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I will. I definitely will. Um, and yeah, no problem. Don't... Don't worry about it. I'm always glad to throw out, uh, throw out your channel whenever you pop by. So you should pop by more often is what I'm trying to say, Scott. <laughs> but I'll see you Saturday. It'll be a good time. Yeah, no, Scotty uh, and who's the guy that... It's Kai, right? The other, uh, the other guy that you do those videos with. I love your approach to it. It's very down to earth, very, uh, very relaxed. Just like friends, it's friends having conversations. And I don't know, I don't know about anybody else, but I can, I can honestly just, even if I don't know the two people involved, I can just listen to people having a conversation. If they're having a good time with each other, I just, you feed off that energy sometimes. Damn it. I think I need, um, I think I know what weapon I need for this. Yeah. Shit. You got any videos coming up, Scotty? Any you want to mention? I don't know if he left yet. He may already be gone. But for anybody else listening, yeah, definitely go check out that channel. Yeah, I definitely don't have the right tools for the job here.
What a waste. <laughs> Just need a little bit of luck. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was so close. Mm -hmm. I don't think the ice weapon does anything to him. Well, it does create a spread fire. That could work. Damn. and then puffing, but so is he. Oh, finally. It's been a lot easier if I had the right tool for the job. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing Mega Man X on stream, but I am going to write down passcode. Chameleon stay. Why do I... I feel like this weapon is for... Hang on, let me write this down. Storm... E is it Storm Eagle? I feel like that's the one that you use against him, but I'm not sure. If I was sure, I probably wouldn't have fought this stage. Five three eight two five six 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 five seven five eight. Okay. Is it? Yeah, I think it's this dude. Um, no. I think this guy's next, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because this level after uh, after Chill Penguin should be all iced over. Yeah, 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 because there's all the snow. Okay. Oh. This is the capsule. This is the level with the helmet capsule, I believe. Well, that's where I would use it, so I don't know. Maybe it's not. Ow. Who do you think you are, a hammer brother? Uh oh. You can do that with the boots. I don't think I can reach this, though. No, I think you need you need a helmet for that, don't you? I feel like I should be able to make this. No, it has to be like. Maybe not. Have to try and get like as far. Okay, that's about it. So nope. And then oh come on. I don't think I can get it. Nope. I'm gonna give up on that one for now. sure there's no other area over here, is there?
nothing down here, was there? I don't think there was, and I don't feel like finding out. I do believe this boss fight is relatively easy with this weapon. It takes big, pretty big chunks out of it. Thank. No, no, no. I thought he was only going to do three shots. Damn. Sir, and they're gonna dash jump. And even that wasn't far enough away. One more shot. Oh, damn it. There we go. So now I can cross out the old save code. I like this. This is probably my favorite weapon just because it's, it's always on. Although it uses a lot of ammo. Four, two, four, eight. 
One, two, four, eight. One, three, seven, one. Okay, I'm gonna have to call it there, folks. So for anybody that showed up wondering why the hell I'm not playing Biomorph, I did the third ending. Uh, you just have to go back to the beginning of the VOD, uh, which will... Actually, I'm probably going to just clip all three endings together and post them on YouTube as well, so you'll be able to see all three, including the true ending. That's what they called it. That was the, what the achievement was. But yeah, check it out. And go check out Biomorph yourself. It's a lot of fun, and if you're concerned that you're not going to like it, there's a demo that pretty well, pretty well matches... Like, the demo is the same quality of the game. It's... When I picked up the full version of the game, I, I was already accustomed to it. There was nothing really different. It was just an extension of the demo. So it's a really good representation of what the game is like. So go check it out. I highly recommend it, especially if you're into Metroidvania games. And even if you're not, it's a good game. Amazing artwork. Beautiful animations. And terrific music as well. So go check it out. But for now, uh, that's it for me. I will be back tomorrow, and I have some work to do to figure out what game I'm going to be playing. Ah, I don't know. If you got any ideas, throw them my way. I'm always open to suggestions. Can't say I will take them, but I will listen to them. Anyhow, that's it for me for the evening. I hope you have yourself a good start to your week, and I'll see you tomorrow. So long, everyone.